Airport security of Reddit. What's the weirdest experience you had while scanning luggage? Elderly woman with a sword came. She had no idea it was a sword. Her son was a service member and had sent it to her from the Philippines without mentioning what it was. A couple headed up to Alaska with a sink, complete with plumbing attached, in a large duffel bag. Hunter returning from Canada with some unlicensed kills. Unprepped and still bleeding severed muskox heads wrapped in plastic. Whole baggage system for half the airport had to be shut down and cleaned, along with a couple of our machines. One lady who spent the time her bag was in the x-ray screaming, that x-rays weren't real, and there was a majid in the machine going through her bag to steal things. In cargo, an automatic grenade launcher built out of clear polycarbonate, so the arms dealer transporting it could show off its inner workings. Would have been fine, if it hadn't been undeclared and accompanied by a small box of grenades. It's Sophie Isa. Mom I just got a look in your bag real quick. Oh, it's just my bud plug. It has electronics inside. Um, it's just your soap. It's too big to go. I cannot make this up. The thing I tell new people is you can never be ready for what might happen every day. Okay, I'm not airport security, but this is in the same sport of what you're asking. When we were coming back from Afghanistan, a few of us were tasked to serve as customs type people. We had to search bags for any non-authorized items. Things like weapons, war trophies, money. Things like that. Anyway, it's hot as balls and I'm on like my 10th group of folks. We're going through the whole spiel, and I get to the part where I have them all turn their sleeping bags upside down and shake them out. Well, out drops this huge purple dildo from this guy's bag. It's enormous and it's rolled to a stop in the sand at my feet. I'm speechless. I know this guy. Worked like two seats away from him for a year. We're locked in eye contact. His face is mortified. There's a dozen other soldiers all around dumping their bags. None have noticed yet. I just yell out okay pack it up and walk away like I didn't notice. If this guy planted that to smuggle some shootout, then he earned it cause I was not gonna mess with any more of that. We never spoke of it afterward. I used to work at Sydney airport and we once found a 14 inch double ended dildo in the luggage of a couple from Turkey. The kicker was that both of the passengers were in their 80s. Human skull. Passenger claimed to be a brain surgeon and used it as a teaching aid. Not security but a passenger. This one time, when I was 17 to 18 I was going through the Palm Springs airport security when my bag gets pulled aside by one of the officers. After I walk through the scanner, the man pulls the bag off the belt then looks me in the eye and asks back quote is this yours? To which I reply back quote yes. Back quote is there anything inside that I should be concerned about? Slightly confused I respond. No sir, I don't believe so then opens the bag, rummages inside until he pulls out a small box and asks me, deadpan serious back quote what is this? At this point I pick up just how much this officer is on edge. He was so tense, I swear he looked ready to charge me, if I were to do so much as itch my chin the wrong way. The intensity emanating off of him was palpable, and I do my very best to hold my poise as I answer him with a straight face back quote, that is a soap on a rope. Sir proceeds to take the soap on a rope out of the box and I explain how my dad gave it to me as a joke gift for my birthday. Seeing his tension diffuse slightly, I ask what the problem was. Literally tells me that soap has the consistency of C4 and the hole in the top was suspicious where rope met soap, so it was flagged as a potential bomb threat. Shortly after realizing the lack of threat and obvious misunderstanding, they let me through and I rejoined my family, soap on a rope and all. In the early 90s my family and I are trying to get back to the USA from Paris. At the airport they scanned all our luggage as part of the routine even back th. During the process the officials got pretty excited slash upset slash surprised we didn't speak much French. And they spoke little English, but a number of them crowded around the monitor for one suitcase. They finally brought me over to the screen and pointed to an image on the x-ray. At the bottom of my wife's suitcase it appeared to be an outline of a pistol. As it turned out, it was my wife's curling iron with power cord rolled up just right, but I couldn't make them understand what I was trying to tell them, so I just pretended to curl my hair like I've seen my wife do with the thing. They started laughing, and were so relieved it was nothing, 
so we were on our way quickly after that. Back when flying was actually fun. I'm not airport security, but one time I was in the security line with my parents and little sister, and we got stopped, because they found something in her bag. The person at the scanner, opens my little sister's backpack and pulls out a freaking rock the size of a grapefruit. He just looks at us, and goes what's this? And my little sister goes that's my pet rock. He put it back in the bag, and told us we were good. She took her pet rock on the plane. My parents were totally mortified. Not airport security, but the one time on a local flight everyone in the line had to wait at bag check because a man was trying to bring a large tire on his hand luggage. It didn't fit in the scanning machine, but they won't let him take it through the detector either. The stubbornness stalemate eventually died off, but needless to say everyone was very upset. I'm not airport security, but I do have an interesting story. So I'm checking through airport security. In front of me was a woman in her 40s I assume. I only have my laptop as carry on. So I grabbed two trays. One for my laptop. The other for my shoe slash wallet slash phone slash ECT. As I'm waiting for this lady to put her stuff in tray she drops her purse. I'm not exaggerating whatsoever. About 100 condom packets fall out of her purse and spew across the floor. There were probably a lot more inside. Being the gentleman I might ask the woman. If she needed help, and scooped up the condoms. It sat officers from all over were staring at her with wide eyes. Nobody said a word. Eventually we managed to get through, and I never saw the woman again. I once saw an elderly Chinese lady bring a pizza on a domestic US flight, and they had to roll the box through the scanner, which made my awful morning a wee bit brighter. Not airport security, but when I was 7, I put my plastic dinosaur toy into the scanner in a mall. The dude thought I put my big pet lizard into the scanner and got scared. The funner thing is, the dinosaur was an allosaurus. Placed sideways, it looked nothing like a lizard through the screen, but I could see that his reaction was genuine. Not security but a passenger. This isn't that weird but it still makes me chuckle. A few years ago I was in Amsterdam for about a month. Now, I love cheese as much as the next person, and I wanted to bring some different kinds of gouda back to the US for myself, my friends, and my family. This was totally legal and all, I checked beforehand. But the customs agents thought it was hilarious, when they opened my bag and I literally had 6 pounds of cheese, in cheese wheel form, in my suitcase. Got to keep the cheese, and it was definitely worth it. I got stopped in Denver once, because they thought my underwater camera was a bomb. They all apologized, and said as you can imagine we don't get a lot of underwater cameras in Denver. There's a German security officer and bomb squad leader out there that can tell you the story of how I forgot I had a grenade shaped lighter in my backpack as I went through the security checkpoint. Obligatory I'm a passenger not a SA agent. When I was 8 years old we took a trip to California and there were hundreds of snails all over the place. This fascinated me as there wasn't stuff like that in Minnesota. So I adopted 10 of them and carried them around on our trip, feeding them lettuce. Going through airport security I watched them go through the x-ray, and you could see them moving slowly around. This freaked out the agent and they called over a few people to search my bags. My dad just sat there laughing, and they pulled out a jar of snails. They laughed as well, and let me keep them. So the snails lived happily ever, after in a bowl of lettuce looking out the window at the snow. I remember once I was flying out of Melbourne, when I was about 14 heading to Christchurch to meet up with my parents. So I put my bag on the tray for the x-ray machine, and the border force guy puts it through. I go through the metal detector, and wait for my bag to come out. Then the other border force guy hot looking at the x-ray screen calls one of his colleagues over, points at the screen, looks at me, laughs and pulls my bag aside, and calls me over. I go up to him, and he looks me straight in the eye, and says we don't allow screwdrivers on the plane. I'm pretty damn confused at that point, until he unzips the front pocket and pulls out my goddamn 12th Dr. Sonic screwdriver. Both him and the other guy are just pissing themselves laughing. So then he asked where I got it, and how much it cost cause he wanted to get his son one for his birthday. He then handed my bag back, and told me not to disassemble the plane, while I'm up there. 
I just want to know why, when working construction on airports, I have to go through the metal detector and have my hard hat slash safety vest slash boots scanned, but our big job boxes get to sail on past without even a gander on what's inside. Not security here, but I used to work as a baggage handler now loading supervisor, and whenever we felt a vibration from a bag we had to get it inspected as it is a potential heat source, and could start a fire. We cannot open it without security and the owner with us local regulation, so it was always a hassle. But we always got big grins and everything, when we felt it. Nine tenths times it was just a body groomer or something like that. Learned that vibrating dildos come in many different shapes and sizes thanks to that rare one tenth. I live where there is no Trader Joe's, so when I do visit friends out of state, I bring an extra suitcase and load up. My bag was flagged for inspection, after going through the x-ray. So I'm standing there, and that sad officer takes out my Jojo's cookies, swabs the packaging, checks that it isn't cocaine, and shouts back to the x-ray guy, hey, Eric. It was the Jojo's. Not a screener myself, but I huck bags for an airline. One day I threw a couple of bags on the screener, and neglected to let the cats a Canadian version of Tsa agent know that they had firearms and ammunition in them. I can only imagine the reaction of him shooting his pants when he had been sitting there all day, bored out of his mind, screening bag after bag, to suddenly see the giant outline of a shotgun in front of his face on his square he nearly broke the door down of his little hut getting out to grab the bag, and looked at me like, is there a declared firearm in this bag, to which I responded yeah. Sholdv mentioned that. Yeah. I was on an air force on a guard. Not my story, but my buddies. We were going to be at a local airport, receiving the body of a kid who died. I don't know why we didn't just use the airstrip at the base, but whatever. When a body is received, the plane will land, our pal Burris will march out with a full color guard, and retrieve the body off the plane for transport to the funeral home. Part of this includes rifles. So, everyone got to the airport at around 8pm. They walk right up to security, and explain that they're going to be needing to go on to the flight line, and that they have rifles, and a knife to cut the plastic wrap off the casket. The poor kid at Tsa freaks out, and calls his manager over. Apparently he heard, we're going on to your flight line and we have rifles, and not the worthy honor guard from AFB, and we're here to escort an airman's body. Manager comes bounding over, and once he realizes what's going on, he starts cracking up, and explains the situation to the poor kid. Apologies were exchanged, and the body was retrieved successfully. The funeral sucked though. I was on that one, and it was heavy. I really felt for the parents. I went through security once, and they pulled my laptop bag, and were looking through it quite intently. Turns out I had forgotten I had kept a drafting compass in there. You know the scissor-like tool they has pencil holder on one end and a sharp metal point on the other, used for drawing circles. That's right, I said a sharp metal point. They looked at it, and I was expecting them to confiscate it. But they just put it back, and cleared me to fly. I'm thinking to myself, wow, you could probably stab someone in the carotid.